Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is your host Nazar. Today we will understand the concept of insertion that is inserting an element into array at a given position. Watch this video completely to understand the concept clearly. If you are new to my channel, consider subscribing so that you don't miss upcoming videos. I have made related videos on the concept of class, array, frequency of numbers. Watch all of these videos to get complete knowledge of programming. Check description for the link. In this program, first get the element to be inserted. Then get the position at which given element is to be inserted from the user. Then shift the array elements make space for the given position to insert new element at the position as the position is empty defining class insertion with data member and member function data members like n to know the size of an array m of 100 to save elements in memory ele to insert new element and p to insert in the array memory position and also defining member functions to get data from user insert function is used to make space and insert new element in the given position and display function to display the result in get data member function we accept data from user like size of an array, array elements, new element which has to be inserted and the position of array memory location where this new element has to be inserted. In second member function, insert member function, first we need to check whether the given position exists or not using simple if condition that is given position should not be greater than the size of an array n minus 1 once this condition is checked then we need to free memory at the position where new element has to be inserted and this is done by shifting elements to right using for loop that is for i is equal to n minus 1 i is greater than or equal to p i minus minus now adding new element in this free memory space m of p is equal to ele that is ele the new element will be inserted in the memory position m of p this will increase the size of array m of i plus 1 is equal to m of i so that overall memory size will increase by 1 that is n equal to plus 1 in third member function display all the array values are displayed along with new element which is inserted at the given position as output void main or main function is used to call all the member functions of class insertion using object i for example, check the next program. We have to empty the memory space 3 to insert new element 4 in position 3. Now, in position 3, we have value 5. In position 4, we have value 6. And in position 5, we have value 7. This is done by shifting the value element 7 in the next position towards the right hand side that is 7 should be shifted to the memory location 6 6 should be shifted to the memory location 5 and should be shifted to the memory location 4 by doing this each element will be shifted to the next level so that memory location 3 will be free this is done using for loop for loop i equal to n minus 1 i is greater than or equal to p i minus minus will shift the memory to the next value 
this loop is used to check which memory location has to be set free and the other values has to be shifted to the next memory location. Once the values are shifted, then the search element ELE will be placed in the position M of P. M of position given position value will have the value ELE. Once a new value is inserted, then the overall value will increase by 1. That is, M of i will become M of i plus 1. Earlier we had n equal to 6. Now after adding a new element, the value of n will become 7, which means n will increase by 1 to n plus 1. This is how the complete logic of the session program works. If you have any doubt or query, please feel free to comment below. I will reply to all your queries.